वेलकम टू शिपिंग पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर डी एन मौर्या टूडेज टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट द टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट इन द वर्ल्ड इज बेसिकली कैटेगराइज इन टू फाइव टाइप्स फाइव मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी कॉमन दैट इज द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट सेकेंड इज द रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट थर्ड इज एयर ट्रांसपोर्ट फोर्थ इज वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड फिफ्थ इज पाइप लाइन ट्रांसपोर्ट कमिंग वन बाई वन टेक द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इज ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट पैसेंजर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कार्गो और गुड्स ट्रांसपोर्ट अंडर पैसेंजर ट्रांसपोर्ट बसेज टैक्सीज ऑटो रिक्शा अंडर द गुड्स ट्रांसपोर्ट वी हैव गॉट द ट्रक्स विच कैरी द कार्गो इन लूज और पैकेज देन ट्रैक्टर टेलर विच कैरी द कंटेनर्स then road tankers which carry the liquid cargo as well as the gases in case of rail transport again two broad classification passenger rail transport and goods rail transport in case of passenger transport passenger rail passenger trains we have got the trains generally what we call it passenger trains mail train express trains and so on so local trains suburban trains these are the trains in case of rail transport for the goods we call them rake we don't call them train we call them rake so goods rake means one rake will consist of something 45 wagons roughly 20 45 wagons each wagon will have capacity of carrying roughly let us say 25 tons of cargo so wagons each wagon number of wagons it can be open wagon that could be closed wagon side open wagon different types of wagons are there so combination of large number of wagons put together and pulled by the locomotive we call it rake so bulk rake means it is the goods train or cargo train also we have got the separate train for carrying the containers we call them icd train so under cargo category it is the goods rake as well as icd trains then coming to air transport then air transport again passenger air transport passenger aircraft and the cargo aircraft passenger aircraft used for carrying the passengers and then cargo aircraft used basically for carrying the small packet parcel cargo costly item medicines jewels and jewelry and also in emergency cases dropping of the food article apart from this we have got the military aircraft jet bombers and all so that is not part of the transport now coming to the fourth one that is the water transport under water transport we have got two broad categories sea transport and inland water transport sea transport means where the ships are carrying the cargo basically the vessel of larger size so that is start from handy size to handy max size supra max size pana max size swage max size in case of tanker to the larger size we call it vlcc ulcc and so on so so these are the ships which are moving on water that is in sea or oceans having the larger capacity more drop more dwt other types of water transport we call it inland water transport the water transport which moves in river creek canals etc that is the smaller size of the vessel basically we call them barges so barges generally have a capacity of something 800 900 tons to few thousand tons could be something like 4000 tons 5000 ton dwt so these are the transport which are used for carrying the cargo on inland water that is the river creek and canals where the depth is very less facilities are not there ship cannot go so we use the barges also sometimes we call it inland vessel iv vessel so barges or iv vessel both are similar sometimes we also call it rsv of the lower class river sea vessel vessel which can go from river and enter into the sea fifth type of transport is pipeline transport pipeline transport is used for carrying of either liquid cargo or the gases this cannot be used for carrying the solid cargo so 
this particular things their pipelines are laid from one point to other point let us say it is laid from refinery to the place of exploration where the crude oil is being explored being produced so from there this will run into the pipeline maybe through the submarine cable that is the under sea on the seabed or below the seabed and coming up to the refinery point then there is refined and then from there transported either to the tankers road tankers rail tanker or it could be there further pipeline from there to various exit point so pipelines could be also laid down from the port to the various tank farms ports tankers comes oil tanker that is the vessels they come and then discharge the cargo and discharging of cargo cannot take place in road tankers or in the rail tanker or directly into the what we call it tank farm so it has to be routed through the pipeline and sent to the tank farm very high speed of discharging and loading of liquid cargo so tank farm has to be created somewhere close to the ports from where the cargo can be pushed can be pumped out into the pipeline and reach it there pipelines are always laid in advance they are very expensive capital cost is very high but once they are laid then thereafter problem is minimum problem minimum means no much maintenance work this is not exposed to the atmosphere not exposed to the public so people cannot damage it any strike any bharat band cannot stop the cargo operation cargo can move inside the pipeline which are laid below the below the earth below the land so this does not get affected at all this is the biggest advantage and the cost of transportation operation is also very very low the only heavy cost is the basic cost that is the cost of investment or you can say it is the principal cost capital cost is very very high otherwise the cost of normal operation is low and this is always intact this is not affected by the weather good weather bad weather it is monsoon or it is ice this pipeline operation will continue so these are the five types of transportation used for transporting the goods as well as passenger with this i finish this particular topic those who have not subscribed i request them to please subscribe to my channel see you in next session with a fresh topic till then bye bye